Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. Lately, we've been doing a lot of videos on how to be efficient and save money in the aquarium hobby. I recognize with everything going on, we still want to enjoy the hobby, but sometimes we have to do it a little bit less expensively than we've done it in the past. And so today's video, I wanted to talk about where you can find some cheap options for caves inside of your fish tank. Now, fish often love hiding out. So I'm thinking especially for those of you who breed like bristlenose plecos like we do, some smaller cichlids like apistos or rams, often they like to hide out. And then you've got a couple options and some of them are really cheap. You can throw PVC in your fish tank, but then let's face it, you're looking at PVC in your fish tank. You can use flower pots for fish that are a little bit larger. You can go out and buy really nice looking caves and sometimes you might spend 15 or $20 you can get some that are made of clay or terracotta and they're handmade, but again, they, sometimes they can be a little bit expensive. What we do, and this is not something that's new to me, I didn't discover this, but again, I just wanna bring it to your attention in case you don't know, is we use these. Now this one's been in a fish tank, so it's kind of nasty. Uh, normally they're, when you first get them, they're kind of a light orange, but this is a plant watering stake and it's made of terracotta, so it's open at one end. And this is really cool for a number of reasons. If you watch our videos, you'll notice that in a number of tanks, we have these in the tanks. A lot of times they're for plecos, but other times they're for smaller cichlids, like I've already mentioned, uh, like a pisto. So, so plecos, bristlenose nose plecos love these things for a couple reasons, especially if you're interested in breeding them. One, most fish like a cave that is closed at one end. When it comes to plecos in general, if you're ever interested in breeding them, they really like this tapered side. I find we get a lot of bristle nose fry. Part of the reason is I think the males like to have this tapered end to kind of get the eggs in there a little bit further uh, for the mating process and then protecting the eggs. So that works out really well. We've had a pistos breeding in these before. I think what's kind of nice is again, you're not looking at PVC. They're not very expensive. In fact, I will put an Amazon affiliate link down in the description below. They're like $2 and 50 cents a piece, somewhere in there, $2 to $3 a piece, depending on how many you buy. So they're super cheap, super economical. They're terracotta, they're not gonna break down your water. Uh, they are relatively, I don't remember ever breaking one of these things. So they're, they're pretty sturdy and pretty well made. And again, they, de they tend to fit in decently well with most fish tank surroundings. You can hide them behind plants if you want to or put rocks around them. But this is just, again, it's a cheap way to save a little bit of money if you're interested and if you want caves in your fish tank, but you don't wanna go the PVC route and you also don't wanna spend 10, 15, $20 on a cave for your fish. So I just wanna spend a few minutes, talk about this again. Amazon affiliate link will be down in the description below. If you use these before, if you've got a really good alternative, definitely put that down in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.